look at this six foot eight, 350 pound of fist. Drive all of his weight right into the head and face of Lance Hoyt in the corner. I mean, just think of the force that shot of the head right there at Lance Hoyt. But, Jay, you mentioned it. Just the, What I am so impressed with, Mike, is the patience. Did you see Abyss up high? Going to bring that body. Oh, but Lance Hoyt gave him to get out of the way just in time. But how about Sting showing the patience of Joe? I mean, never once giving up on Abyss. Always standing by him and always sticking to him. He knew he could reach inside there and pull this out. Vicious, brutal shot with the boot to the back of the head. And it's not often that we see the six foot eight Abyss go into a matchup with someone who's actually taller than him. Lance Hoyt has got him here by at least an inch or two. And in the mouth, Lance Hoyt raining down those big right hands while Christy Hemi looks on approvingly from ringside. Well, Lance Hoyt's got something that a lot of wrestlers don't. He only not only has the great size, but he has the speed, Whoa. the agility, beautiful moonsault. He just took too long to do it, and Abyss able to get out of the way. But he is agile for a big man, Mike. You're right, perfect form, but the monster was able to roll out at the last split second, and Lance Hoyt crashed and burned. Here comes the choke slam. Nice block, perfect counter, series of elbow shots. Lance off the ropes, but the big clothesline decked him. Oh, he just turned right into him, and then again, Abyss just turns right back again and levels Lance Hoyt. Now you can see he wants to get that choke slam in place. This time he's got it up. Oh, he slams him down hard. Plants him, choke slam. Here's two. Now oh, he barely rolled the shoulder at the last split second. I can't believe we might actually hear Abyss speak. I mean, you heard Sting say it. It was going to happen this week on Impact. We were going to hear words out of the mouth of Abyss. And just the fact that Sting might be able to get him to do that shows how much progress he's made. Tug of war with the steel chair. Christy Hemme doesn't stand a chance, but the distraction of Christy Hemme and the fact that referee Earl Hebner's down on the floor allows Lance Hoyt to catch that big boot in the face of Abyss. And now he's going to position the chair and... Lance Hoyt is headed up. Oh, we've seen this before from Lance Hoyt. This coast-to-coast -coast drop kick. Oh, here he goes up top, and not many people can do this all the way the length. But oh, you can see him. Oh. Saw it. It just creamed that chair. I mean, look at it. It just falls right over his head. There's no way he's getting up from this. Here's the pin. One. Here's two. two. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding. Well, you can tell by that reaction from Abyss that he's thinking the exact same thing you are. You've got to be kidding as the blood flows down the head of Abyss. Abyss now, you can see it. But I unreal how Lance Hoyt able to get that shoulder up after that wicked chair shot. And then look at that right there as Lance Hoyt showing a lot of fire. On. Hey, give it to Christy Hemme. She's getting a lot of fire on Lance Hoyt. Not being intimidated by the monster at all. Lance Hoyt. Motions, and he's going to try that big running knee, and he went right into the black hole slam. One, two, done. Here is your winner, the monster, the How many times have we seen it? When the blood flows down the head of the monster abyss, he uses that as motivation. He turns it into a black hole slam.